How it feels to live in the shadows of death. The Giza pyramids are a sight to behold at 400 feet tall. The pyramid labor, estimated to be 20,000 strong, was a significant force, constructing three of the most brilliantly built buildings ever. In today's episode of Mysterious Curiosity, we look at weird life as a pyramid construction worker in ancient Egypt. In addition to the workers' hamlet built around the pyramid, there was also a graveyard there for deceased employees and members of their families. Although more lavish graves were given to higher rank employees, most laborers were interred with bread and beer as sustenance for the afterlife. Given that the afterlife was seen as the important next chapter in ancient Egyptian society, the tombs that have been discovered indicate a profound reverence for the pyramid construction workers and their contributors. That makes the idea of working next to your own grave a little more encouraging. Even today's engineers are unsure of the exact process the Egyptians used to build the pyramids. According to some theories, ramps were built to raise the stones, and sleds were used to transfer them. Everyone can agree that these stones were quite heavy. Even today's technology got stuck to lift these stones. These blocks might have weighed up to 9 tons, which would make them heavier than an elephant. After being removed, the stone had to be moved from the quarry, perhaps over the Nile on a barge, hauled to the location, and then lifted into place. Teams of workers would move the stone, so you may spend an entire day dragging a rock over the sand. Not the most gratifying job from what I can tell. It's likely that working on the pyramids wasn't an option. The widespread belief is that everyone had to pay a tax to build the pyramids, and the king kept note of how much time each capable man had given. The skilled personnel were compensated and retained on staff full-time during this time. The majority of the evidence, however, points to the fact that the Egyptians were proud of their labor on the pyramids, and that some may have even offered to volunteer. The deed pharaohs' corpses were to be housed in the pyramids, so they might continue to rule as the king of the dead in the afterlife. Building them would assure the workers' own afterlife was viewed as affluent by all of Egypt. The pyramid's temporary staff members had a terrible cultural shock. The majority of the unskilled employees resided in small, unpoverished towns that came from villages all around Egypt. They would be suddenly called by the king to perform their civic duty, loaded into a boat and hauled onto the building site, where they would see the vast structures for the first time and live among more people than they had ever seen before. These three-month assignments resembled studying in another country on ancient Egypt. The temporary employees had the opportunity to make friends with folks from all around the world. Some others found the provisions to be better than what they had at home. Absent the genuinely back-breaking manual labor, you could almost call it a holiday. Thanks for watching Mysterious Curiosity. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you learned something new.